it has begun here between Bishop O'Connell and Briar Woods. Controlling the puck back behind things are the Knights of Bishop O'Connell. They wear the DJO sticker on their helmet as Ian Schneider comes gliding in. He lost the handle on the puck as it goes trickling back behind the net and is scooped up by the Falcons. DJO stands for Dennis J. O'Connell, of course the namesake of Bishop O'Connell. With the puck is Luke Collins. He had the game-winning goal for the Knights in their win over Battlefield as he throws it back in the front, and it's Schneider getting pushed off the puck. It's played off the boards, and Zach Register is hit hard up in the blue line area. It's scooped by Ian Featherstone. Featherstone just getting over an illness, and he did not play against Battlefield, but he's suited up today, one of the top defensemen for Bishop O'Connell. The puck over on the right side. Justin Plumhoff wears the C. He turns it over, and a shot from Collins is blockered aside by Elliot Shelton. But 15 4 to play first period and no score between Briar Woods and Bishop O'Connell. And uh, Bishop O'Connell's first line really came out flying. They were, you know, they're, they're skating smooth out there, and most of the action's been in Briar Woods' end so far. Thomas Crespi will take the draw for the Knights. He loses it to Justin Plumhoff, who plays it back behind things for Dylan Brink. However, it's turned over the blue line, backing up another turnover. Here comes Tarek Zagade for Plumhoff. Back for Zagade. Plumhoff shot, he scores! Justin Plumhoff on the doorstep from Tarek Zagade. The first shot of the game for the Falcons is in the net, and it's 1-0. Briar Woods has struck first. Yeah, the turnover on the blue line led to the offensive rush, and a little game of tic-tac-toe leads to the goal. Nothing the goalie could do about that. Beautiful passing from the top line of the Falcons there, and that's some of the combination we discussed before things got going here. And It was Justin Plumhoff from Tarek Zagade just a minute and nine seconds into the hockey game at the 1540, at the 1451 mark as the puck was played with the high stick. It's going to be waved off. And with the puck in the attacking zone, briefly was the gate again. Lost the handle. He's going to go forward checking after, but it goes back and forth at center. And the Knights eventually will recap things. Yeah, and one thing I've noticed, Brian, is uh, Bishop McConnell's defense is pinching on the blue line, which came back to bite him there for that goal. With the puck are the knight are the uh, knights turning it over right now as it's Oliver now picking it up for the Falcons. Behind things he'll shovel it along the left side for Zagade, but it's intercepted by the Knights, and controlling the puck is Tommy Moe. Moe and Plumhoff tied up in the corner. Plumhoff comes away with it for the Falcons, plays it off the glass, and he absorbs a big check with 13.55 to play in the first period. It's cleared out by Briar Woods. This will be icing. 13.50 to play in the first period. It's Briar Woods on top, one to nothing, leading the Bishop O'Connell Knights. And this that early goal has got the predominantly Bishop O'Connell crowd a little bit quiet. Face off in the attacking zone for the Knights. It's their top line of Colin Schneider and Avdukin out there right now. It's down and it's controlled by Briar Woods. Tied up in the far side corner. Avdukin poking at it and he'll get it back over to Collins. Collins wheels away from a check. Avdukin picks it out and gets it to Collins once more. Back and forth is a wraparound attempt for Avdukin. Tried to set up Schneider on the doorstep. Instead, Schneider will retreat back behind the net. Throws on the brakes, gets it back out into the slot, but no, he... Had the pass go right back to him. Now at the point, the wind-up slap shot. Now one hit the side of the net. Might have hit the pipe as it goes over into the corner. Now picked up by Schneider again. He's tripped up in the process. No penalty will be called. Looked like he might have just tripped over his own skates. Comes and gets it once more, but instead the Falcons will scoop and skate. Here comes Benitez on the attack. Number 44 in blue has it taken off of his tape and once again it's Schneider we'll get a chance to see number 26 in speed right now as Ian Schneider moves right to left plays it off the boards for himself pokes it into the corner it's Justin Plumhoff now picking it up playing it off the glass intercepted though by Bishop O'Connell slapping and keeping it on side now it's Avdukin behind the net Avdukin trying to make something happen as it's poked off of his stick by Wadier instead they're over into the corner and now cleared out by the Falcons and this will be icing And uh, 
Briar Woods having a little trouble getting out of their zone. They just had to resort to uh, icing there, and uh, unfortunately they won't be able to change to get those fresh legs out there. So we'll see if Bishop O'Connor can capitalize. 12.32 to play first period, 1-0 Briar Woods leading Bishop O'Connell. And Justin, I don't know about you, but I kind of feel like that Bishop O'Connell's had more of the opportunities here. It was just that Briar Woods converted on theirs. Yeah, Briar Woods, you know, with the lone goal, but most of the action's been on their end. Here they come once again on the attack, leaving it back for Sagade, loading one up and a shot, and it Ooh. sticked away. It was up in the air and batted out of the air by Zach Hale, the sophomore. Hello, and thank you for viewing this portion of our recent broadcast. This concludes the free viewing experience for this broadcast. If you're interested in viewing the remainder of this broadcast, you can simply click the Add to Cart button below this video where it says Download a Copy. You can also purchase a DVD of this broadcast which will be viewable on computers and televisions. DMVStream.com is an independently funded project, meaning that your purchases and pledge of support go a long way in helping us to continue to broadcast live sporting events in the DMV. Thanks for stopping by and for your continued support.